I'm Kirsten Linquist with KFDM Sports, and this is our Week 6 Tailgate Party Game of the Week. <laughs> So the undefeated and state-ranked Longhorns were the home team against the Jasper Bulldogs Friday night. We begin with Jasper on offense and moving the ball, it's Peyton Brooks on the carry. He gets a first down, but the dogs come up empty. Hampshire Fournette's turn now, and the question is, can someone wrap up Chris Augustine? He gets the first down and more as he just refuses to go down. Later, Ty Bryson looks to his right, and it's a good thing because Braxton Stearns is wide open. With the quarter change, the horns move from left to right now and knocking on the door, or should I say knocking it down, here comes Dante Zeno with the first score of the game for the home team. Bulldogs battle back in the red zone. Jasper running back with possession, but not for long as Hadnot puts the ball on the grass. It would take long. Bryson on the move, throws into the back of the end zone and Chance Ramsey makes the catch for the score. Horns lead 14 to seven at the half. Lighter to energy from the fans at Longhorn Stadium. The fans came out tonight. Student section packed, parents shaking their bells. Even the Longhorn getting in on the action, running that flag up and down the end zone. Final score, 31-28. Longhorns, they take a win, stay undefeated. Their next matchup will be at West Orange Stark. Jasper will be home against Bridge City. Hey, I'm Kirsten Lindquist. Welcome to our week six tailgate party game of the week. I'm joined with Coach Wagner. Coach, very good game here tonight. Coming down to the wire, 31-28. It's all coming down to a field goal. Your thoughts from tonight's game? Well, <laughs> what a great ball game. I mean, if you were out here, that's high school football at its finest. Two really good football teams going at it. And we just happened to have the ball at the end and, and put it through the uprights. It was that kind of game. It was it was, uh, it's why you do it. I was going to say, you had a clutch catch there by Deontay Zeno to really, you know, seal the deal there. You're now undefeated, 6-0 on the season. You had a lot of energy here tonight at Longhorn Stadium. Even fans rushing the field. How does it feel to have that support on a win like this? It's it's, uh, it's wonderful. I mean, Mike Canizales and I have been talking about it and saying, hey, we need, they always pack it. They always pack it and they support. And they're so happy and I'm watching them and it's, it's the community is so proud and uh, they've been waiting for this for a long time. I was going to say, you guys are ranked in the state still at number seven, staying strong there. But I know you're always fighting for that spot in the playoffs here in district play. How are you going to carry the momentum from tonight into the weeks ahead? It's going to be really difficult. It's a, it's the hardest district in Texas, there's no doubt. And, you know, Jasper was preseason number five, I think. And you saw the talent. They have so many Division One guys on their team. And for us to be able to stand toe to toe with them, it shows you the quality of program that we have. And now we have to go to West Orange, and that's going to be tough coming off of a win like this, you know. So we're going to have to ground them again, get them refocused, and here we go again. I was going to say, a lot of energy. Looking forward to seeing it. Thanks so much, Coach, for your time. Thank you. Great interview. Reporting Thank at Longhorn you. Stadium, I'm Kirsten Lindquist.